I've been working on taking apart Galarians for a while, and one of the first things I knew I wanted to look into was what is the deal with that stupid secret knock. If you've played the game before, you know what I'm talking about. It's disc two, stage C, you're in the hotel. You've been running around to every room, talking to everybody twice, and finally you run into this asshole in the lobby who's like, You'll find what you're looking for in room 204. Knock like this to get in. Sounds simple enough. So you go to room 204, you do the knock. Turns out this is one of the most notoriously frustrating parts of this game. When I was a kid, I gave up at this part and didn't play the game again for years. Up until last year, even the world record speedrun took multiple attempts to get this right. So why is this so difficult? Well, you're probably thinking, isn't the timing just really tight? And it is, which I'll show in a second. But I actually think the more surprising thing is that all of the timing is based on the first knock. So there are five knocks in the sequence, and the last four are all expected to come at a fixed point in time after the first. The time between knocks does not matter at all, which is really unintuitive and can lead to the game accepting some pretty wrong sounding knocks, which we'll see later. Here is the exact timing that the game is looking for for the knocks. So we start with the first knock, then the second knock should come 18 frames after the first knock, the third one should come 29 frames after the first knock, the fourth should come after 39 frames, and the fifth should come after 55 frames. So there is a three frame grace period before and after the ideal frame for each knock. So overall, that means you have a seven frame window for each knock. Now this game runs at 30 FPS, so one frame is 1 30th of a second, which is about 33 milliseconds. And so at seven frames, that means your overall window is about 233 milliseconds, or just under a quarter of a second. And I think that's another thing that makes this challenging. Like, that's not frame perfect, but it's not super generous either. It's a bit of a tight window. And finally, the last thing that might be a bit confusing is that the timing is based on when you press the button, not when the knock sound actually plays. So if you're trying to time it by listening to the sound, you're going to be off a little bit. To help visualize all this, I've written a script for the PCSX Redux emulator that's going to show us when we should knock and optionally do the knock for us. So we see we've got this little knock monitor window in the corner here. And what that's going to do is after we do the first knock, that is going to turn green when we should knock and red when we shouldn't knock. So we want to knock once for each time it turns green, and we don't want to knock when it's red. If you knock when it's red, that's a fail. So first I'm going to do just one knock and then do nothing to let the monitor show where the subsequent knocks should come in. So let's take a look at that. Next, we're going to have the script do the knocking for us on the exact frames that the game is looking for. You may not like it, but this is what peak Galarian's knocking looks like. Come on in. And just as an example, I'm also going to show what it looks like doing every knock on the earliest possible frame and then every knock on the last possible frame. You'll notice that these don't sound that different because again, 
it's all based on a fixed amount of time from your first knock. So these are basically just going to be all three frames earlier than what we just saw and all three frames later than what we just saw. So here's every knock on the earliest frame. Come on in. And here's every knock on the latest frame. Now remember what I said about timing being from when the button is pressed. It takes four frames from when you press the button for the animation to start. So if you watch the video closely, you're going to see that the animation and the sound all happen while the monitor is red, but the button is being pressed on the last frame that it's green. Come on in. And finally, just to show how ludicrous this puzzle is, let's see some examples of alternating between knocking on the earliest and latest frames. So here is the knock alternating early, late, early, late. Come on in. And here is the knock alternating late, early, late, early. Come on in. Obviously, neither of those sound anything like the knock you're supposed to do, but they're accepted because the game's logic makes no sense. Now, I don't know how helpful this explanation has been. Honestly, I still can't get it on the first try, even though I know this is how it works. But the next time you play the game, at least you know why the knocking minigame is so difficult. So, there you have it. And until next time.